Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to day 10 of the holiday card series for 2022. Today I'm going to be creating a card using these beautiful watercolors from Yuli Watercolors. Uh, this is the Christmas series. This is a dot card. I think this is an older one, but not long ago, I actually went to her website and I purchased the half pans of every single color that is included in the Christmas line. I don't even know if she sells a set like this altogether, but I, I love these colors so much. I knew that I would want the big pan size, but they do, they do have some dot cards, which are very generous. You could probably do all of the painting I'm doing today using one of the dot cards if you wanted to, because I'm only using a little bit of each color. I'm also using the Christmas buzzword stamps and dies from Honeybee. And I'm going to take out this die here because I'm going to plan out my card and I want to have a little bit of sizing perspective in the back of my mind as I paint my card. So my idea is to have three trees and they're all going to be multicolored trees. I want the one in the center to be the tallest and I'm going to have my die cut at the bottom of the trees. So I'm going to have a tall tree and then I'm going to have one that's just a little bit smaller off to the left and then one that's even smaller than that off to the right. And I wanted it a little bit closer to the center than the other one just for some variety. So I knew I wasn't going to use every single color, but I wanted to use some of the brighter colors. So I used an eyedropper and added a couple drops of water on some of these bright colors and just let them sit for a minute while I got my brushes ready and got my cup of water and things like that. And then after the paint had had kind of soaked up some of that water, I was able to swirl my brush in each pan and start painting. So... In the past, I've showed some kind of abstract trees like this, and I think they're really fun to paint, and they might look challenging at first, but when you see it broken down like this, it's actually very fast and easy. You just wanna keep in your mind that you have that vertical line of the trunk of the tree. So after I paint kind of each kind of branch coming out, then I'll go back to that center. So I started painting the middle tree, but then I realized that I wanted to paint the two trees on the sides so that when I paint the middle tree, I can paint over the top. So it's going to layer the trees and put the smaller ones behind the one in the center. So I'm just changing colors as I move along here and I'm kind of going out to each side and coming back to the trunk, but there's a lot of painting here. So I'm gonna speed up the video and turn on some music.
wow, I love how colorful those trees are. They might be my favorite. So then I took some white cardstock and I used my die and I cut out my greeting, the, the word Christmas, four times. I'm going to be stacking those in just a minute. But as I put my die back into its pocket, I'm going to grab the stamp set and I'm going to use one of the little scraps of white cardstock that I have left over from the die cutting to stamp a word to complete my greeting. I've chosen the word happy because I think it really looks like a very happy card with those very colorful trees. So I stamped that in some VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and then I used my scissors just to trim that out to a square shape. I'm going to set that aside for a minute while I work on the rest of my card. I decided since the trees weren't centered on my watercolor paper that I would trim it down using the A7 layer size from Waffle Flower. So I just kind of placed everything on there so I would know exactly what I was working with and then removed the die and the word so that I could do my die cutting. I put this on some foam adhesive and put it directly down onto a 5x7 card base. I then stacked all four of those die cut greetings and I just used a little bit of Gina K connect glue to uh, glue those down and I just did little dots of glue on each die cut and then layered them each one on top of the other using my tweezers I positioned the Christmas right over the bottom of those trees then I can press that down and then I realized I didn't even need to dot the eye on the Christmas because I would be putting the a little happy right above in this area right above the first part of the word so even though I did save the little dots from the die cuts I didn't even need it so I just put a little bit of foam tape on the back of that happy and then put that directly down onto the card and I considered adding sequins or other little things on the card but I'm glad I didn't I think this looks beautiful and simple just like this it really lets those paints shine and it's something you can do with any sort of pearlescent metallic paints that you might have on hand so that's the card for day 10 I hope you guys enjoyed um, everything I've used today is linked down below in the video description including the paints that I used from Yuli watercolors so I'll have my code down there you can get a little bit of a percentage off your order uh, use that code and uh, it'll take that money off of your order and you'll get some good paints thanks so much for watching i'll be back for day 11 in just a couple days thanks for watching <laughs>